Hey guys, welcome back to the Command Beacon. As a reminder, if you're looking for a way to support the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, turn on the notification bell icon to stay up to date with all my latest content for you guys. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Command underscore Beacon. And in case you didn't know, I started a small Discord channel where you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest, or just chat it up. The link will be in the description down below. Well, enough of that. Let's get on to the gameplay. Okay, so we lost the die roll on this one. Let's take a look at our opening hand. We have Overgrown Tomb, Phyrexian Tower, Shizo. We do have a Farseek, Spark Double, Flesh Eater Imp, and Demonic Tutor. So I think we're going to go ahead and keep on this. Uh, yep. And we're going up against Azuri, Renegade Leader. Our opponent's going to lead off with a Forest, followed by Mana Vault. And they will... Pass the turn right over to us. We draw into Cephalid Constable. And let's get the Overgrown Tomb down. We will not pay the two for that. Our opponent taps two to play a Fauna Shaman. They pass the turn over to us. We draw into Momentous Fall. So I think on this one I'm going to get Shizo down. Let's go Farseek. We need a Blue Mana Source. So I think we're going to go Breeding Pool on this one. Uh, we will not pay the two, and we'll pass turn. So our opponent goes for a Fauna Shaman activation uh, just after they played Nikto's Shrine to Nyx. Discarding a Masked Admirers, they reveal Liz Alana Hunt's Master. Okay. They pass the turn back over to us. We draw to Read the Bones. Let's get the Phyrexian Tower down. Is there anything else I want to do? Um... Now let's go for Read the Bones. Ooh, Skatherix and the uh, Sakura Tribe Elder. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put Skatherix on the bottom. We'll put the Sakura Tribe Elder on top and we also draw to Phyrexian Arena. So not bad at all. Um, with that, let's go ahead and tap down and we'll pass it right back over to our opponent. Our opponent's going to play the List Alana Hunts Master, and the triggered ability from the Mask Admirers is on the stack as well. Opponent's also going to play a Guilt Leaf Ambush. So, uh, definitely trying to go wide with the Elf Warriors or the Elf Tokens here. Hmm. So, bottom on this one. Our opponent chooses not to attack. Uh, we draw into a Forest. We can go either Sakura Tribe Elder. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. And we can also get the Phyrexian Arena down. We will pass the turn. And I'm a little curious what our opponent's gonna do here. They may go for the Neek those to tap it down. And it appears that's the route that they're going. Yep. Oh. Um not sure why they did that. Opponent moves straight to combat, deciding to swing all out on us. Uh, let's go for the block on Liz here. We'll activate the Sacro Tribe Elder. We're at an island. I think we're taking five here. Yep. Ooh. We draw to Archfiend of Despair. Let's get the Drawn Catacombs down. We can go Cephalid Constable into Spark Double. That should make our opponent uh, sort of hold off there. So we're probably going to be taking a lot here because uh, I'm assuming we're going to see Azuri hit the field. Uh, followed by the overrun effect. So our opponent plays a Dwinin, Gilly Dayan. A uh, little anthem effect for the elves. So we got four... Six. I don't know. I think they're holding back now. Yep. They pass right back over to us. We draw into a swamp. Now what we could do, we can go sacrifice the original, play Demonic Tutor. We can grab Cyclonic Rift. We'll cast it with the Overload. Move to combat, swing in with the Cephalid. And... Unfortunately, I have to bounce back lands. It's not necessarily what I like to do. They replay the Neek those. They play Manavolt, the Fauna Shaman, and Eladomri. 
We draw into a Damnation and a Swamp. Let's see. So we can play... We need one, two, three, four, five for our commander. Two for the boots. One to equip. Yeah, and I think this is going to wrap it up for us. Make sure that I do this the right way. So one, two. Hmm. We can equip this on Volrath. And then we're holding the Shizo up. We're not going to be able to activate it this turn. But uh, yeah, at least they'll know. Let's put the negative one counter on Eladomri. We'll swing in with our commander. If they choose not to block, we will go ahead and uh, copy the Cephalid Constable. All right, so no blocks. Let's go ahead, copy the Cephalid. And I think that's gonna basically do it here. Ah, I'm not sure what just happened. Now I may have timed that wrong. Whoops. Our opponent recasts Lizalana. Followed by Dwin and Guiltleaf. Looks like they have a massive Myers trigger as well. It was a very uh, cool recovery there. Got a Fauna Shaman activation. Uh, getting rid of the mass admirers again. Unfortunately, our opponent's not going to be able to block our commander. And uh, everything's going to get bounced right back. They pass the turn over, we draw into a Reflecting Pool and Cultivate. Let's get the Reflecting Pool down. And what we can do, we can move the combat. We'll put this one back on Eladomri. We choose to attack like that. We'll give him fear. We'll move the blocks. Make him a copy of the Cephalid. Alright, so that basically does it. Our opponent scoops. We were unable to bounce back their creatures, but that was basically it for the resources. But not entirely how I like to play, but hey, it is what it is. Good game. Well guys, that's going to do it for this gameplay. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as a quick reminder, if you're looking for a way to support the channel, make sure to scroll down, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell icon so you can stay up to date with all our latest content for you guys. While you're at it, give this video a like if you enjoyed what you've seen here. It helps others who enjoy this type of content find us a bit easier. And if you're interested in being a part of the channel, follow me on Twitter at command underscore beacon and we can coordinate a time so that you can showcase your deck building abilities. And finally, if there's any specific content that you would like to see on the show, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. You were watching the command beacon. Until next time, thanks for watching.